If you like to see how I created this rainbow cut crease, please stay tuned and watch the video. I'm back on my YouTube Rizzle and it's time to share my techniques, my makeup looks, and just have overall fun. Everything is done with love on this channel. So I hope you guys enjoy the content. Please like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm Alacia Love. Thank you for watching. So let's get started. Um, I haven't been back on YouTube in a while. And I want to get back into my self-love journey. I want to get back into the things I love. I've been seeing so many people talk about 2016 makeup. And I miss that time. Like, it was a simple time where you could get online, watch um, a tutorial. And it was just it for me. Like, all the creative looks. I want to get back into creativity. I want to get back into... Just doing my thing, how I know how to do it best. And um, yeah, um, my YouTube is going to be uploaded probably once or twice a week. I haven't really decided what's going to be my format, but I'm thinking once a week with makeup looks and maybe one makeup look and one hair video, depending on where I go with that. I, but yes, yeah, so... I am back to filming and I'm so excited. I have so much to share with you guys that I want to do creatively with my makeup, with my hair. I have a lot of other aspects I want to add to my channel. I do all things with love. So it's all going to be love. It's going to be all love. So yeah, it's the base that I'm using for my eyeshadow is P. Louise. Um, this is the base. Get really, really smooth and flat before I apply my eyeshadow. I'm going to be implementing new techniques, but today I'm doing it my normal way because time is not on my side. I really miss makeup. I really miss the things that were exciting to me that I just enjoyed doing. And I'm bringing that back to my channel. If you haven't checked my blog post, check out my blog for parasailing in Miami. It was so fun, so beautiful. I felt like a bird. It was amazing. It was funny. I was scared also, but I enjoy adventurous adrenaline adrenaline rushing thrills so it was fun so i'm wearing these earrings and i'm thinking that i might do a look that can go with my earrings but i don't Two know color. the transition color is going to be placed here so i'm gonna transition it out here On my channel, I would like to take the time out to say that I'm very intentional on how I pour into myself. And for a while, I was just like not wearing as much makeup. I was doing more natural looks, just wearing lashes and maybe doing my brows. I was very, 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 very plain. I wasn't doing my makeup, but I would do my lashes, my brows, and I was very 
intentional about my skincare at the time. So I don't play about my skin. So I, I've always kept that under wraps, I would say. I just don't play about it. Under the makeup, your skin should be as healthy as possible. You should pour into your skin as much as you pour into your look. So I didn't wear makeup as much. I just focused on a nice brow and some nice lashes, not too much. So yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily intentional, but there was a time in my life where I lived makeup. I woke up makeup, lunch makeup, bedtime makeup. So I want to get back into that era of my life where I use my creativity in, a, in this way. Because anything you do when it comes to style, makeup, hair, your fashion, it's a form of self-expression. -ex and I want to get back to expressing myself through my creative looks. They're so fun to do, so I'm going to do that. Getting back in the habit of starting what I finish because I've always loved sharing my skills or sharing what I know about makeup with others and just having a space to to vent, to share it. I don't know how to explain it, but just having that space to share. Here on YouTube, we can share our love and obsession with makeup itself so i'm gonna do that with you guys i am gonna get back on this channel i'm gonna give you guys videos as much as i possibly can and we're gonna have fun i'm gonna go in with a darker brown shade and i'm gonna put that in my crease line Yeah, it looks good. I'm coming back with wig reviews hair reviews, makeup tutorials and videos, and hauls for you guys. Everything that I love, I'm going to share on my channel. Not everything, guys, but the majority of things that I actually love or take a liking a liking to. I'm going to share them with you guys. The gist of this video, I don't normally talk in videos, but I feel like I should give more of myself to my followers and my supporters so we can connect more. So if there's anything that you guys want to ask me, ask your questions. I will answer them in the comments or in the Q&A video. I want to know where you guys are from, where are you watching my videos from, what would you like to see. So I'm going to do the old school 2016 way. And I'm going to take in my P. Louise again in the number three. And I'm going to form and shape my cut crease 
for the eyelid look. I haven't done any looks on myself in a while. I have makeup clients, but I haven't done myself. So let's get into it. I kind of outline my cut crease first and then I go back in and Use my product. And maybe it would help if I flip my mirror. Definitely. This mirror is everything. It's a five times in a regular mirror. So I'm creating the cut crease. Making sure my base hasn't creased because I had to make some storage available on my phone. And now I can see that my bases are definitely not the same size. So I'm going to go back in and correct the left eye. Should I do this on my eyes? We'll see. I'm going to use the colors in this Morphe palette. I don't want to do browns. It's kind of mm, not, not that exciting for me. So I'm gonna start with this yellow in the Morphe palette. It's gonna be the inner crease of my eye. And just the crease, that's it. We're not going too far in. We're only starting right there and ending there. And then I'm gonna go in with orange, you guys. Is orange my, yeah. I'm gonna go in with orange, because orange is in the earrings. The earrings are the inspiration for the look today. Just packing that color in. So now I'm going to go in 
with an orange. So let's get it cracking up in here. Go in with orange here and blend it. Oh, I could. Okay, no. I miss this so much, guys. You guys don't even know. It's just fun. I'm having a really good time right now at this very moment. I don't know if you can tell the excitement that I have. adding some flavor in my life. Some color. So I'm gonna go in with this tone here. It's closer to a red, but it's red. Blend it into that orange. Boom. Tomorrow I might do a more subtle look. <laughs> but today I want to have a little bit of fun with my eyeshadow. That's a huge jump. And I think I'm going to go in with the blue blue. And I'm going to go, go in with that green at the end. just blending it in so it's kind of seamless it's not as patchy as it is because then they're they can transition to each other i'm having the time of my life filming this This has been fun. So now I'm gonna go in with the green. Where the, and I'm gonna clean that up because I'm kind of trying to beat the time with my camera. So yeah, this is almost the finished look of my rainbow cut crease. I have more green on the opposite side too. I just noticed that. This, 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 the, that little brush is not freaking working. Hold on guys. I'm gonna go in and clean this up afterwards. The time I am getting it on there and blending.
Thank you for watching my rainbow cut crease video. If you like what you've seen, please hit that like button and subscribe button. There will be new videos posted weekly on this channel. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see your comments in the comment section and I hope to just connect with my viewers. If you are new to my channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and come join the love.